Welcome, 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 welcome. Okay. I'm going to do an intuitive read for you. I'm going to do raw love. It's going to be for my caps. All right. This is going to be for my caps. Let's go back for my, my little Capricorns, my little Irish blokes. For those that are Irish. I don't know. I don't know why it's so strong right now. I feel like Capricorn. I don't know. I'm feeling like a lot of Irish caps right now. That is super strange. I don't know why. All right. I'm thinking about leprechauns. Like, <laughs> what the frig is this? Uh, I'm all done talking. Anywho, this is going to be where I love now until September 9th. I don't know what the frig that's all about. What the frig this? And I just got the goosebumps. I really don't know what that's all about. Spirit's like, yeah, cool. what was that all about? I don't know. Maybe I was right. I don't know. You all trying to have a wish come true, maybe? You all looking for a pot of gold? I don't know. I'm trying to relate that. Um... You know, did somebody pluck a little four-leaf clover and give it to you and you saved it as like a, a, a memento, like a, a souvenir type thing? Did you wish for somebody? I'm telling you, it, it's something. It's, ooh, it's all related somehow. My little caps. <laughs> I'm feeling dark right now too, but not in a bad way. Not in a magic way either, but like... I don't know what you're working with right now. All right, let's find out what's going on with my caps. All right, we got the eight of swords. So you're feeling, you're feeling trapped. But here's the deal: you, you feel like that, okay? Like you put yourself in that mental frame of mind. Like this is you. Um, maybe that's why I felt dark because I don't feel like you're stuck with a magician. Um, so you're feeling stuck, but maybe are you feeling spiritually stuck? Magically stuck? Because if you felt like there was tricky situ, if you felt like something was a tricky situation, you wouldn't stay stuck. So to me, I think you feel spiritually stuck. And magicians, I mean, leprechauns, you know, can be tricky, and you got the magician. But not usually tricky in a bad way. I think you guys feel spiritually stuck. Or you feel stuck when it comes to a connection that you have with a magician. Because a lot of feminine energy are coming in as magicians today. And to me, it's just spiritual. It's powerful. It's, you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's beautiful. So I don't know if you're dealing with somebody... A woman that's a magician, a man, this can go either way. Tell me about the magician. Who's the damn magician? If it pulls the sun, I'm going to be freaking flabbergasted. That's too many. Tell me about the magician. Who's the magician? All right, the chariot. So I don't know if you're dealing with a Kazarian, but this is a, a freaking um, a unicorn. This is like magical. Like this is... This is spiritual with the seven of swords. So you must have either they just they either they lied or you lied to them because they're looking at your lies. All right. And with that extra unicorn, it could be a sword, which would make the eight of swords. So they're looking at your tricky shit that you did. Because now we got two different energies here. Or no, that's not true because I asked about the magician. So the magician is the chariot. This isn't the chariot spiritual card too. You're going on a journey, you know what I mean? But like it looks like someone's about to stop you. Like your past is going to block block you. Um, this is a spiritual thing. This is not tricky shit. Okay. So the magician is a chariot. I think in one of the reads, the magician came up as the chariot too, but it was reversed. So I'm not taking action. So I don't know if you're dealing with a cancerian right now. Because this doesn't talk about movement. I think you're, you're thinking about... No, that, no, I can read it both ways, too, because I can read it like movement, but now nah, tell me about the chariot. To me, that's an energy, which, and if it's an energy, it's it's a cancer. Tell me about the chariot. Who's the chariot? And I know the magician was a chariot. The three of cups, that's a cancer cap. Okay, you're dealing with a cancer here. Or well, somebody who has cancer in the chat, listen to me. Everybody has cancer in their chat, Okay. But this is somebody who has strong cancer in their chart. It's either they're a star sign. I mean, why did I say that? Star sign. What's a star sign? It's either their sun sign, their moon sign, 
or their rising sign or their Venus. It's one of the, it's got to be the, the top four strongest signs. And they just double canted my ass. But you're the magician. My cappies are the magician. Um, and, but you're also the chariot. So it's magical, it's spiritual. So you feel spiritually stuck. And I don't know if you're about to self-sabotage yourself or if somebody is coming back at you, no matter what sign it is, and this person that could be coming back to reconcile did some tricky shit. All right, what else are we looking at? I usually feel cap on cap, but this is... This talks about a Cancerian for damn sure. So the Queen of Swords. So this is somebody who cut out the idea of having a reconciliation, of dating, of going out. You know what I mean? This is somebody who has mixed feelings about some actually, no, I'm reading this as this person, whether it's you or this other person, is no longer taking bullshit. Like none, zip, zilch. None, all right, with the Ten of Cups, this person's content. Someone cut somebody something out of their life and are not dealing with bullshit no more. And the, the, they found they found self-fulfillment in themselves. You know what I mean? Like, this is what this is telling me. Somebody could have cut somebody out, but regardless, when somebody got cut out of the picture, somebody made it to their Ten of Cups. That's self-fulfillment. I almost said something about a Cancerian. So this is telling me something about a Cancer, guys. I'm sorry. There's something about this Cancer energy. And it could just be telling me that this person is very nurturing and caring and empathetic. And it could just be telling me that. But I feel a strong Cancer trait. Okay? And I feel it. And I know. Because I feel it. And I'm a Cancer. I know that's what it's telling me. So to me... This person is, this is not the one that's self-sabotaging anything, okay? Um, the last couple reads I've been talking about different energies too, okay? So we got the Nine of Swords with the Ace of Swords. So somebody's worried, um, whether it's my cap or this other person, somebody's worried that somebody's lying to them, that they're not, they're not getting the truth, um, in the song, that song, just meet, it's the middle. Meet me in the middle. Is that what it is? The middle? Why don't you just meet me in the middle? You know, somebody just wants to be met halfway, all right? Uh, and even give and take or something. But I don't see anybody together in this scenario. That's the tricky part. Somebody cut somebody out of their life, but somebody's thinking about reconciliation. Somebody's thinking about coming back in. And somebody, and somebody else is worried about so this is about compromising on my board somebody just wants to compromise with somebody you know we got the ten of swords so somebody reached the end all right no more so eight nine ten we're brand new beginning what that one but that one is reversed all right so somebody's not speaking the truth clear as day the five of ones but somebody wants to it's reversed somebody definitely wants to come out of conflict all right but they probably took themselves out of conflict. So it looks like you guys took yourself out of conflict. And now I'm feeling cap on cap again. So is this a third person? That the cancer a third person? I don't think so. I'm not feeling third party. This is somebody who probably wants to reconcile. Somebody cut somebody out of somebody's life and now they're considering stepping back into it. There's something magical going on. Not as in magic, just something universal, something magical. Clear as day. And all I keep seeing is these damn stars. And what's the star? The star has an Aquarian. What am I what am I doing again? Cappies. Holy shit. 
and you're dealing with quite a few different energies right now, my little caps. I don't know what this means for you, but you're dealing with a, you must be, um, your thoughts must be all over the place. Well, duh, all right, duh. You got eight, nine, ten of swords and the ace and the seven reverse. Yeah, I'm losing my mind just a little, you think? I just lost my mind a little bit, and I got Cappy Moon. This is throwing me off, though, guys. I don't know what this is all about for you. I haven't been mental like this. Somebody, this particular scenario, you're all up in your head, all right? This about this connection. I mean, it's the Hierophant. There's obviously a strong bond here. All right, you're contemplating. And the owl, to me, represents the king of cups, the knight of cups, you know, but, and you're looking down, and the magician's been coming up as this cat, okay? So I don't know if you think this person's doing something tricky or not. I'm, that's what I'm saying. Like, this moon energy is messing with you, and now I'm back to the Pisces, but this is a hierophant, which is a Taurus. <sighs> you guys are all kind of intertwining right now. Um, tell me about this hierophant. So my Cappies are considering this something either someone's very, very spiritual, the three of pens coming together, working together. Somebody's either very spiritual. This is talking about coming back and, and, and having some type of connection and commitment. And it's, it almost reminds me of like a contract right now too. Like, okay, it's in the stars. It's in the, you know what I mean? It's universal. We got this con, we got this contract, like, it's mutual. You both know about it. You're both spiritual. You, you know what's happening. Are you going to work together? Are you going to come together? Are you going to collaborate? But somebody is worried that somebody's lying. So we have a trust issue on the board. I don't know if somebody's going to move forward or not. Um, I think the conflict is over because the Ten of Swords is next to the conflict. So to me, that's saying, you know, there is no more mental conflict. All right. That's the end of that. So, um, we have the two cards I fell out with the Empress and, and, and the Devil right here. So it's like this Empress is looking at the Devil. Are we still the Devil or are we just dealing with a straight up cap? Like this is you and with another Taurus. So it's kind of like this Empress, whomever she is, is looking at my Cappy's hat and saying, I don't know. To me, this is a connection, like a contract. Like I just said, this is not toxicity. It's not. This is a bond. It could be a baby's daddy. It could be something like that, all right? Um, the kid's father. I don't know why I said baby daddy. Because I don't even refer my ex as a baby daddy with my kid's father, so I don't know what that's all about. Um, but you could be looking at this person like maybe they're just tempted or maybe not. To me, I'm telling you, this is straight up. I don't know how you're looking at this person, but I'm telling you right now, this talks about a bond and this empress is, is this Taurus is looking at this Cappy. Okay. And this is two different horses. All right. But they're both horses and the only horses in my deck. So with this chariot being a cancer and this empress being a Taurus, I think you're dealing with a strong cancer and a strong Taurus. And I think this, pe this person has a family. And you guys are talking about whether or not to maybe go into business together because the Empress usually owns a business and that's how she's been coming up lately. And we're all in the same energy, so I'm going to relate it that way, okay? I know some people don't like that, why what, me intertwining Zodiacs, but it only makes sense, okay, because that's the reality of it. Um, and that's another Taurus. So this Taurus is looking up and has been coming in as the magician just like that as the same kitty. But very spiritual. So the two of you is telling me it's a consent. Like, you're the two of you is spiritual. And you're in your element. You know what I mean? Like, I think you're dealing, my Cappies, and, and the Cappy came out with the, the Empress. So that's what I'm saying. Like, Cap on Cap, Cap and Taurus, Cap and Cancer, you know. Cap and Taurus again. It's the only major, minor, major kind of I have. So that's that's strong. That's a strong message. All this other sword shit is mental. I mean, yeah, can you be dealing with 
somebody who's got air in them? Absolutely. You know, but um, the Ten of Pentacles reverse, so you, you know, my Cappies are worried about stability, and I don't know if it's their own stability or if it's this other person's stability. But if it's the other person's stability, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be worried about that because you wouldn't come up as an empress if you weren't stable. So to me, it's the Cappy that's feeling a little unstable, and now I'm getting confused again because now I feel. They're still strong, cap on cap. Bottom of the deck, six of cups. Holy six of cups energy. That is that is quite the bond. Um, the lovers and two of cups been coming up under that lately. All right. Not in this one, but there's the sun. That sun and the magician go hand in hand, too. Let me see if I can pull something else with this deck real quick. I just want to clarify a couple things. Because to me, this magician is literally been coming up as the sun. Okay? In the empress. So, there's not tricky nothing here. Alright? Tell me about the magician. What type of energy is this magician? This is somebody who, to me, is just speaking about spirituality and... That's it, all right? That's how the magician's been coming into play the last couple days. Um, to me, it's not tricky, nada. Whoa, whoa, what was that? I'm about to find out, about to find out. The lovers, all right? So, you could be dealing with the Gemini too, but to me, this is just, this is a judgment call too. Like, what are you going to do? Like, um... This, to me, is just that bond. It's that connection. And we just talked about that damn six of cups with the lovers. I knew it was going to come like that. See, I told you. This is a strong, strong spiritual bond. There's no trickery here. Somebody really thinks somebody's playing tricks here. And I don't see, I don't see no tricks, guys. I don't. I don't. And I, and I know you guys are, like, feeling it. But, I, I, I mean, I just don't. And there's a ten of cups. See, that's, there's nothing tricky about that. This is contentment. This is happy. This is fulfillment. This is a beautiful, beautiful connection. So I don't know why I keep feeling like people are up to something and the, they're just the not. It's just the energy, guys. Okay? I'm going to try pulling from a different deck, but there's no ill intent with that magician again. Okay? There's just not. So... Pull from a different deck and see if I can get any additional message. It was just 1717. Uh, go Google that, okay? Go Google that. Make sure you Google almost all the numbers and synchronicities that I've been talking about because I want to say this is my fifth one today. And I want to say four out of the five, at least three out of the five had number sequences in them, okay? So, let's see what other additional messages is, da -da -da, messages I can pull from my caps right now. The nine of cups was just all by itself reversed upside down, and that fell on the ground. The ten of cups, all right? So you go from the nine to the ten, that's great. Wish fulfillment, feeling fulfilled. That's, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Um... You know, it's ironic. Um, I have two bracelets and they haven't fallen off all day. And this one really, I mean, they were just hanging on. So it's kind of like, and I feel like it's representing something as crazy as it sounds. But to me, with the bracelets trying to fall off but hanging on, it's kind of like having the strength or pulling it back together or it's something. Or you're going to offer jewelry to somebody. It's, it's something, all right? It means something significant. And here's that empress again, okay? So it's like, I don't know, the Empress wears a lot of jewelry, okay? Um, so I don't know. To me, it's like you want to nurture something or this person wants to nurture something. You're dealing with a Taurus, and, and there's the fool, all right? So I don't know if she wants a new start or you want a new start, all right, with the two of wands. There it is with the seven of cups. It's your karma. It's time for the karma to be addressed. I think you're wondering if this person's going to have a new start or this there's going to be a message or something and the message from the two of wands, you know what I mean? And that wasn't, I think my Aquarian, Aquarian read, 
looking in the same direction. And I don't know if you're wondering, you're looking right at this empress and the fool. You're looking right at her saying, is she going to take that new spot with me? Is she going to take that leap of faith? Okay. Because you're sitting in your comma right now. You're both on dragons again. This is a very this is a very high twin connection. Okay, this is a very deep, deep, deep. All connections are deep, but this is deep. This is rooted. This is bonded. This is contracted. Okay, this is a straight up contract from another lifetime coming at you. So, any other messages for my caps? You're definitely dealing with somebody who has a. There's no question as the Empress. It's either the Tavidian you're dealing with, a Taurus. Somebody who has a family, a mama, a business, somebody that nurtures the shit out of stuff. We got the Knight of Pence reversed with the Six of Wands reversed, all right? So it's not feeling triumphant, not feeling victorious. It's either that or you need to let your ego go, okay? Because this gentleman is not putting effort into it. And this, this is the other gentleman where I was looking like this, just kind of like putzing around, like, what do I do? How do I approach this person? Do I make, Do I make a move? Do I not make a move? You know what I mean? And it's like... If you turn these cards upright, like, get on your damn horse and, and make that move. Have the courage, all right? Like, it's the lion. Like, I don't know if you're dealing with a Leo or you got Leo in your chat, but you need to be more aggressive when it comes to this. You can't just be stagnant. Even your damn dragon's looking at you saying, what the F are you doing? What are you doing right now? You know, like, let's go. Put one foot forward, all right? How long are you going to look at this energy and say, do I want this? Do I not want this? That's arrogant, all right? Like, at the fear pack, because we've been, I don't i don't have fear. That lion could be saying there is a little fear. There we go with the devil again, coming out of, but it's reverse, so it's coming out of that. But, like, what are you, what are you going to do? You know what I mean? Like, that's way too many. Something flip. What are you going to do in this scenario? Because it looks like the gentleman, my gentleman Cappies, are, are being super stagnant asses. And we got the lovers with the king of wands with the ace of swords. So, to me, it's like. This is, you know, are you going to come in swift and deliver this message and speak the truth? All right, because this is what it's telling me. Are you going to do it? Are you, are you going to come in all hot and passionate and take action and, and speak the truth? Are you? Because your back is turned towards the sword. So you want to come in. You want to take action towards your lover. But are you going to do it? Because right now your back is still turned. See what I'm saying? And I'm getting frustrated and I don't know... And I don't know why. Because it's, well, I do know why because I'm channeling. You know what I mean? So I can feel someone's frustration. And it's probably the mama. It's not me. I'm not frustrated over this scenario. You know what I mean? Like, I can relate to this having Cappy in my moon. But to me, it's being the empress. I mean, I, I can picture it. I know it's not about me, guys. But I can picture myself, you know, sitting pretty. Like, whatever. No big deal. Like, I have my new start anywhere. Like, I'm done waiting. I've been done waiting for a long time. You know what I mean? But this other person is still thinking about coming in towards you. And it, it could be a new person. Nah, it's not a new person. The Ace of Swords to me is always the past returning for a new stat. But it also talks about, you know, like the sword is down, which is beautiful, but the sword is also piercing the flowers. So this means there's been a lot of pain, but it also talks about transition and change. You know what I mean? But heartache at the same time. Like this person hurt you. This King of Wands could have been somebody who was in and out, in and out, in and out, you know, and had somebody else. I don't know. But... This gentleman is considering, my one of my cappies is considering stepping forward, but having to have the courage to step forward and do this, all right? Because even the universe, I can feel them, like, they're yelling at you, and that's why I'm kind of being firm with you, because it's like, we're just, we're waiting, we're stagnant, like, what what are we doing, you know? I mean, for flipping real, you even have a dragon looking at you saying, can we go? Can we go now? Dun, 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 dun. Like, how long are we going to do this for? Like, I had enough of this. Like, I don't know. Do you got Pisces in your chat? Like, let's go. Like, the situation's been dead. Okay, like, you transformed. Like, go towards the unknown. You know, do I want a relationship? Do I not? Because right now I'm soul searching, and I don't know if this tricky shit, but you might be dealing with somebody who's a little arrogant. And then we got the magician that wants to have that, that ace of stat too, but feeling left out in the cold. So this is correlating with other elements today. But anywho, my little cappies, I wish you the best of luck. Let's pull you some lessons, okay? Because this is a tough scenario. I need I have cappies that are dealing with either a strong Taurus or a strong Cancer. 
we got Gemini in there that wasn't too strong. And it talks about the lovers. Um, and I definitely am feeling the whole cap on cap thing still. Okay. But it, honestly, it can be any element. And I just saw the indecisive. And there's, there's going to be no growth. It wouldn't let me put them together. You can't, if you're indecisive, your soul doesn't grow. You're not going nowhere. All right. Um, indecisive. And then pride in relationships. You're hanging out with people you shouldn't be hanging out with too. So it, it's telling me like, some of my caps are, are, are stalling, you know what I mean? Like, what are you doing? It looks like there's going to be some action taken, though, but its back was turned towards the truth, so that's a tough one. Use your, use your intuition, my little caps, okay, when it comes to this. Um, Use your intuition, okay? Somebody's, here we go again with grief and judgment. Someone's worried about somebody judging somebody else for something that happened in the past. So I'm not really sure, okay? What's going on? My little cappies, my cappies. Messages to my caps, my little leprechauns, my little Irish jokes. I don't know what that's all about. Okay, that's, that's too many and you're falling all over the place. <clears throat> I don't know what that is. Doubting. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, so here we go with the fear. You got some doubt, all right? I knew that fear was going to come in because that lion was screaming at me. Um, you're fearing to live in the energy of love. So this probably talks about past pain too, and you're doubting something. You're doubting, and you feel like you need to know all the answers right now, and you don't. But stop doubting whatever scenario you're doubting, okay? It's throwing your balance off. It's throwing your judgment off. Like, I'm telling you, and you want peace, you know, you got to let go of the negative energy, energy, okay? Right now, you're holding on to negativity, and you're doubting your next move, okay? But you can't make a move because you're not really grounded, all right? And you're worried about what other people think. If you think about, if you're worried about what other people think, you're screwing yourself, all right? There's the number one karma card, all right? Fear. Fear and karma are the number one things that stop people from living their lives and going after fulfillment. So, you know, having these lesson cards, if we don't get past these lessons or if we don't work through them or at least acknowledge them, acknowledge them, my caps are going to self-sabotage their future. And that would suck. I don't want you guys doing that. Okay? So, let's pull you an oracle. There's self-confidence twice. I talked about, you know, courage. Getting past fear. It's not easy, guys. I know. I'm just, I'm just telling you what I see. Okay? And then we got hope at the bottom of the deck. So, trying to stay hopeful or somebody is. And then we have belonging. So, this talks about a very spiritual scenario, very, very spiritual. This was chosen, okay, and maybe somebody's fighting it. I'm not really sure. My dear one, I know what you have been searching for your whole life, and you have a sense of belonging, a feeling of home and acceptance. Come into the end. Come and enter the house of the night where you've been chosen for this symbol to join us in the community of beauty, friendship, and secrets only shared be between known ones and chosen ones. You are chosen before me. This symbol also tells you that you're in the right place at the right time. You are at home. Be home within Be home within yourself. Learn to be comfortable in your own skin. When you choose this symbol, I I know that I, Nyx, the goddess of the night, have chosen you. This is super, super spiritual. Super, super, duper, duper, duper spiritual. Okay. I wish you the best of luck. This is, um, everything's going down the way it's, it's supposed to go down. But to me, this is saying... You know, move forward, push through, do what it is you need to do. Don't self-sabotage your future, my little caps, my little leprechauns. you got a beautiful bond on the board. Go after it. Bye, guys.